HitFilm Sensei here. Last week, we sent a single X-Wing fighter into hyperspace. This week, we're going to launch the whole fleet. All right, so last week, we did a single X-Wing fighter that flew across the screen and then launched shoom, into hyperspace just like that. And this is the actual project file that I used or that I made from last week's tutorial. So if you have not seen that tutorial, you will need to know how to do that first because basically when you want to launch the whole fleet, it's the same thing except that you're going to use the particle simulator to create that uh, fleet with and it's going to be based on the x-wing that you create your single original model okay and it doesn't have to be an x-wing it could be a fleet of y-wings it could be a fleet of b-wings or it could even be a fleet of millennium falcons it doesn't really matter okay so what you need to do first is you need to create your x-wing original ship firing off into hyperspace okay Again, if you don't know how to do that, then you need to go back and watch the video from last week, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a particle simulator and you're going to drop it into your project, okay? And you can see there's the particle simulator right there. And then we're just going to start working. I'm going to rename that fleet, okay? And what's going to happen is, is that this is going to be the fleet and it is going to animate and basically do everything that this or origin ship does. OK, and I'm going to actually end up turning off the origin ship when I'm done with it. OK, so I'm going to go into the controls of the particle simulator. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to emitter and I want to change the shape because right now it's a point shape. OK, I'm going to open that up and make it a cube shape. I'm going to open this up. I'm going, I want to attach it to my X-Wing control point or my X-Wing point. And now you can see the cube is there, okay? And I'm going to make some adjustments to the scale or the width, height, and depth of that cube. I want it to be really wide, say 5,000. I want it to be nice and high, maybe 2,000. And I want it to be somewhat deep, maybe 3,000, okay? So now I have this gigantic cube here. And if I start moving, you can see that those particles are actually uh, hanging out here and, and, and generating themselves in space, okay? All right, so now that I've done that, I want to make a few other changes, okay? First of all, under general, we are going to spawn these over one second, although you can spawn them over two or three or however many seconds you want, okay? But as soon as we are done with that, as soon as we've got to that point, then we want to stop spawning, okay? Because we don't want them to continue coming out. So we're going to make a keyframe, say active till that point, move forward one frame, and then we're going to deactivate it. So that way no more spawns after that. Okay, then under particle systems, particle system, we're going to start here at general. First of all, we have particles per second. Right now it's 50. That means that over the last second we have generated 50 particles. We probably don't want 50. If you want 50 ships in your fleet, that's fine. I'm going to go down to a, a number more like 15 fleet or ships in my fleet. Okay, also under movement. I want the life to continue because if it's at one second like it is now, then they're just all going to disappear after one second, okay? So we just want to crank that up so that they don't ever actually disappear, okay? Then I want the speed to be zero, okay? That way they're not moving all over the place. They're just generated in the spot, okay? All right, under appearance, what we're going to do is we're going to use a texture source being a layer and the layer will actually be the x-wing so now here are all the x-wings back here but they look kind of gray compared to our origin x-wing and the reason is because the color source is set to birth color which would be the color of the original particles we don't want that we want it to be the color of the texture color here okay 
Now, I can turn off my original X-Wing fighter, and you can see there they are, okay? But they don't do anything. They just sort of sit there, don't they? Okay, that's because we currently have it set to single frame, and that single frame is the very first frame in the uh, X-Wing's life. We want it to actually animate this whole thing just like it animated the original. So I'm going to open this up and say animated. I want the start frame to be zero, and then I want it to animate all the way until the end, okay? So just to be sure, I'm going to go about 30, or sorry, 300, 300 frames worth. That's 10 seconds, right? I'm going to go ahead and turn off loop because I don't want it to start over, okay? So what we have now is we have a situation where this is going to start spawning ships, and then they're going to start moving as soon as they start spawning, okay? Why? Because the first frame of the um, original ship, it starts moving right away. So as soon as they've spawned, then it's good, okay? Then you'll notice if it keeps on going through, at some point, they're all going to start launching themselves into space. But they're all at different times. Why is that? Well, because the animation itself is based on the animation of the X-Wing, and the X-Wing fires off into space at a certain point, but the animation doesn't start until the spawning happens. So if a ship spawned here at 20 frames in, then it's going to actually fire off uh, 20 frames ahead of the one that spawned right here at the first or second frame, right? That kind of a thing. As a result, you're going to get this staggering out of those ships firing into space, okay? So now all I have to do is just move the camera maybe a little bit because I want it to be able to be in the right position to be able to see those ships firing off into space, okay? As soon as I've done that, then I would add motion blurs. I would add window dressing in terms of my plane, uh, and then I would be ready to render this out. But there is a problem, and that is what? Well, they're still popping in over one whole second, aren't they? Yeah, that's sort of a problem, all right? So what I actually would do is I would go ahead and take my particle simulator, and I would just pull it back exactly one whole second, right? So that way, they're already in place before the clip starts and when the clip starts then they're all good to go and then they will all fire out before it's gone right uh and if i want i can actually extend that a little bit but i really don't have to because they're going to all be gone by the time that wood is getting there anyway uh, but just in case that's it and then when you're done you have something that looks like this So pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.